hello and good morning to you all or afternoon whatever time it is where you're at I wanted to show you how to torque and uh, tighten down the Ford Focus clutch nuts for the dual clutch transmission so maybe you've got a vibration after you've done your clutch job or maybe you're just wondering maybe you're researching before working on your car but once your transmissions back in and your stud is through the flywheel here you're going to want to turn the engine over by hand clockwise about six to eight times until it feels like the clutch is seated against the flywheel. The way you'll know is there will be free play against the flywheel when you move the stud. And that indicates that it's seated properly. If it were tight and you weren't able to move the stud, that means that the clutch is just kind of caught up and bound on the flex plate and you just need to turn it over and free it up. All right, so there, there are six studs. Once it's uh, seated against the flywheel properly, get that uh, stud that you can feel here, get it right about in the middle of the hole on the flex plate. See how there's play in it, get it right in the middle of that. You're gonna wanna get new nuts, as these are locking nuts with serrated teeth on the back of them. See, that's what they look like. All right, go ahead and get your first clutch nut and stick it up here. Be careful, do not, do not drop this down in here or you may have to pull the transmission back out to get it. Be very careful. Um, all right, I've got that threaded on. I do believe I'm gonna go ahead and illustrate what we're doing first. All right, so you see the number one there? I can't get the cap off the marker. Okay, that's the one I just started by hand. So you're gonna to wanna to run this down snug and um, skip it to num skip to number three, run that down snug, skip to number five, run it down snug. And the whole time you're doing this, you wanna turn the engine clockwise, not counterclockwise. I don't know why I said that, it's early here. Um, so yeah, uh, snug 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 and then after you snug those three down you're going to want to skip to here so on the third one you snug down skip the open hole um, you'll be at the one that you snug first skip that one and then you'll have another open stud here put a nut on there and run it down full torque and then after you run that down full torque Full torque that, full torque, full torque, full torque, and full torque, and you'll be done. Alright, I'm, I'm about to snug the first one here. What I did is, with the air ratchet, I um, just gave it a, enough juice to uh, run it down, but not full torque it, so that's what I mean by snug it up. Just just be gentle with it and um, if you feel binding while you're snugging it down like you feel the clutch grabbing against the flywheel and binding take it out rotate the engine over a few more times and try again I'm gonna turn the engine over to the stud past the next one like I said okay so that's the one I just snugged down I turned the engine over uh, clockwise until I got to number three now I'm gonna snug that one down See how it just kind of stopped there under the light torque that snug down. All right, now I'm going to turn the engine over clockwise and skip a stud. All right, I just turned the engine over uh, clockwise and I went from three to five, skipping that open stud. Now I'm going to snug down five. I'm going to turn the engine over clockwise now. Once again, when you're running these nuts down, it should feel smooth the whole time. If you feel something catching and binding, pull all the nuts off and start over. Turn the engine over with the nuts off and reseat the flywheel because it sh the nuts should feel smooth all the way down. You might end up having a vibration if you don't do this. Okay, I just turned the engine over clockwise. I, I snugged up five and then I, I skipped this. I skipped this with the nut on it, 
and then now I'm here. I'm going to run this down, number two, full torque. And then I'm going to full torque all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and put a nut on this stud and snug it down. Full torque. I'm sorry, yep, it's 7 in the morning and I'm tired, so <laughs> uh, kind of boring right now. Full torque. All right, you see where it kind of kicked back there? It's it's tight. All right, so I just full to, uh, full tightened that. Now I'm going to full tighten that, uh, and that, and that, and that, and that. Full torque. Skip. Don't skip any of them this time. Just all the way around to the end. And I don't think I'm going to show all that. Okay, I'm all the way done. I did full torque all the way back until the original one. So they're all tight. And uh, the final test would be final test to make sure they're torqued correctly would be to run the engine when you're done and make sure there's no vibrations. If there is, go ahead and try again. Uh, but uh, yeah, good luck to you. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Bye bye.